Although the zombie new wave dates back to video games in the late 90s, 28 Days Later is the first such film to stand out internationally as an example of millennial British horror. Unlike older zombie movies, such as Hammer's The Plague of the Zombies. This film conforms to this greater trend in recent British horror cinema. Traditional British ideals from past national cinema were being capitalised on to build new foundations for character-driven stories. Another example of this trend is the portrayals of authoritative police figures in rural settings within The Wicker Man's folk horror and Hot Fuzz's action comedy. Revised zombie aesthetics and genre hybridity in 28 Days show how the film contributes towards this trend. By turning the old into the new, 28 Days shows genre's importance in maintaining British cinema's relationship with foreign cinema. 28 Days takes a more realistic direction with zombies created through viral infection rather than the fanciful reanimation of the dead. They become rabid, yet still technically alive, and want only to kill the uninfected instead of eating their brains. In its efforts to update them, 28 Days begins the trend of meta-referencing past genre tropes. A little more obvious in their approach, horror comedies like Shaun of the Dead and Hollywood's Zombieland would repeat the zombie meta-commentary. In the first act's case, the undead metropolis London reflects an angry and paranoid society's self-destructive behaviour. Grainy wide shots capture abandoned landmarks covering the once dynamic city in an isolated and brooding atmosphere. Within a once sacred, now desecrated church, this building up of dread precedes the infected's first reveal. In line with the renewing the old thing, Handheld Canon XL1 digital video cameras replaced older film cameras in these scenes. These cameras, smaller size and better movability, brought a handheld look akin to documentary realism. Rather poetically, they also improved the crew's use of the time they had before angry commuters overwhelmed the set. With the revised zombie formula, director Danny Boyle did not intend 28 Days to be a zombie movie, as to do so risked mishandling overused tropes and losing subversiveness. Instead, the film's free act structure stresses genre hybridity, in which each act has a different genre tone or style compared to the other two. There is a definite production strategy that draws on elements from other genres informing character arcs. As already discussed, the first act in London is a psychological thriller centered around the survivor's isolation with realist camera work. The second act takes cues from the American road movie genre with plenty of slice of life moments as the main cast form a new family. Jim's rainstorm murder spree visuals make the third act a dramatic revenge film. This genre hybridity ultimately reflects the back and forth influence between British and international cinema that has helped spark the zombie new wave. Overall, 28 Days Zombie Horror Revisioning proves the significance of genre trends for British cinema and its greater influence on the international level. Its aesthetic and production responses use genre hybridity to refresh past tropes into a visually compelling drama. In so doing, horror returns as a staple of British cinema while also guiding the international zombie media onto a new path. Hence, free British millennial horror, 28 Days Later reinvigorated the zombie subgenre from a literal shambling corpse into a smarter, faster, deadlier, more infected.